Okay, so this little shit might be the first creature to adventure onto land, at least according to new research. Way less dramatic than the giant arthropods that we once thought were the pioneers. See, for decades, scientists had imagined that the first land animals were those big boys, you know, the trilobites marching across tidal flats, or giant sea scorpions dragging their armor-plated asses out of the surf, or even some mysterious Cambrian arthropods tiptoeing on the beach. But nope, it turns out the first animal to crawl onto land was basically a tiny mollusk. A little early Cambrian snailish thing, you know, a gooey foot, a small shell. You get the idea. This comes off the back of some new research from the Natural History Museum in London that shows that these guys were exploring land over 520 million years ago way earlier than any arthropods we've ever found. We're talking deep Cambrian, you know, the everything is weird and squishy phase. Now, scientists didn't figure this out from bones. These animals were way too soft for that. Instead, they analyzed ancient trace fossils, the trails, ridges, and bulldozed sand left behind by creatures slithering across the sediment. Because believe it or not, these types of fossils often give us really important information around how animals lived. The scientists used high resolution physics simulations. They literally recreated how particles of sand collapse, stick, and clump together in air versus water. And they discovered that many of these old trackways could only form on wet sand and when they're exposed to air, not under the water or in any shallow pools, even if it was just for a few minutes at a time, basically meaning that whatever created this was on land. Now they know that these trails weren't from arthropods as they were smooth curves, continuous motion, no sharp arthropod style pivots. In fact, it's exactly the kind of thing you would see from a little shelled mollusk gliding with a muscular foot. These mollusk-like pioneers could survive out of water for 10 to 15 minutes just enough to graze on microbial mats, scavenge whatever washed ashore, and bulldoze sediments like tiny ecosystem engineers. So yeah, first explorers of dry land weren't brave scorpions or ancient millipedes. They were tiny, stubborn, snail-like creatures doing their best not to dry out. But by crawling onto land, even for just a few minutes, they kicked off a chain reaction. Land was full of food, zero predators, and basically no competition. If you could stay out of the water just a little longer, you had a huge evolutionary advantage. And as these mollusks moved around, they mixed sediment, stirred up nutrients, and left behind organic materials. According to Dr. Imran Rahman, who was one of the authors on the study, this kind of ecosystem engineering helped reshape shorelines and boosted the nutrient cycles that later animals needed to survive. Over millions of years, that opened the door for arthropods, plant forests, and eventually everything that lives on land today. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.